What is up, you sacks of beautiful people? And welcome back to a very classic Damien and Shane show. Uh, Shane is actually a little under the weather today, so his voice sounds a little bit different, but... Your eyes are crazy right now, Shane. Typical Shane eyes. That's a little bit under the weather. Our camera guy's fly is down. Oh, <laughs> it's it's part, okay. <laughs> Typical Shane. Ah, oh, <laughs> always telling me it's okay. So if you remember Shane Freakin' Top, last time we played this, we were at a cookout. Our character is Burfy St. Germain. He's a single dad, just trying to like make his way through life with his daughter. Uh, but we also dated a different daddy and uh, we went too far and things didn't work out. So I think, uh, I think we tried to talk to him before last time and it was awkward. So I say, why not just go straight to burger time? <laughs> I love the burger time! Dush, 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 dush. Yeah! You know what I love is when you say your signature catchphrase. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's burger, burger time! time. Dush, 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 dush. You guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? <laughs> He's working faster now, effortlessly tossing cheese on the patties and perfectly grilling onions on the side. <sighs> One after another, the dads take notice and crowd around Joseph to admire his masterful mm. technique. <laughs> uh, why don't you do the Craig voice today, Shane? I probably didn't know this, Burfy, but uh, Joseph's not around here for his grill and shit. Yeah. He's ungrilly, he's ungrilly <laughs> That's good! Fun game on point. I've tried to get on his level, but I can't catch up. Hey, that's pretty solid. <laughs> that's pretty solid. And actually, uh, we have a second character here, uh, that's Matt, and uh, he needs a voice. What's, what's his voice? Let us keep studying. He has a rare quality about him. God, it sounds so much like Courtney. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, this is, I guess, just me because it's also spelled my way, so I'm just gonna do my regular, like, Mustard, we keep talking about this. Can't we just appreciate the oh. artist? I've never seen him make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you slept with him? All of the children at the party boo the glorious displays of yeah. puns in unison. Oh, because we're making dad jokes! Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same coldy sack. Hey. <laughs> wow. That was a really good exposition. Hey, why don't you add us all on Dad Book? Dad Book? Yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. We're all on it, so if you ever need to reach out to anyone, <laughs> that's the simplest way to do it. Huh. Don't worry, Pops, I'll help you figure it out. That's a solid Amanda. Thanks. A pretty fun party, don't you think? Um, let's see, what do we want to say, Shane? I, I feel uh, like I've been taking lead on a lot of things lately. What okay. do you want to say? I mean, I got the burger in me. Is that's, that what you want to say? That's, that's Shane freaking top priority! <laughs> okay! <laughs> this is just gonna be an episode of The Office where I'm just gymming the whole time. Like, <laughs> well, hey, at least you met some, some other, other cool dads! dads. You, you should hit them up, up on Dad Book! Maybe I will, if I ever figure out how social media works. Ah! What are your thoughts on Cauliflower? Mine like it. <laughs> That seemed like you had a gum to your head, and I can say, <laughs> just for everyone at home, uh, Shane did not have a gum to, gun to his head. Mm. And be home before midnight. Mm. Wow, that's a pretty lenient dad. Yeah, midnight? Midnight for a teenager? Well, now he didn't do it, he was five. What? <laughs> dish, dish, dish. Make good choices. It keeps popping out and of leaving. Course. Yeah, <laughs> like, he's like just leaving the room. <laughs> By the way, and I imagine his hair rustles like a bush every time he tries to get through a door frame. You see that, like yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Dad, you're not gonna do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No, I've never done that, and I will never do that. Hmm. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dying mastermind of celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. I care about this information. I I'm wandering the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Uh, Amanda's phone is always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon. Uh, unless she's driving home now, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon, because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. Uh, I reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of uh, socializing. <laughs> I check my watch again, and then my phone! Nothing yet! <laughs> Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no, it's... 
It's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Oh God, I get texts like this from my mom. Oh it's... no, so this is like what she must be thinking. And I'm like, look, I have anxiety issues. I wonder where I get it from. Like, <laughs> I mean, I just think it probably like runs in a family like genetically. So it's the same thing where she'll text and just be like, hey, how's it going? When and then I'm super busy and get responded. It's just like, hey, just like checking to make sure your uh, bones no. are still in your body. Like, you know, that just, yeah. You know, and then it runs in my family. What's up? What, what runs in your family? Cartilage. Your family has cartilage? Yeah. I'm sorry. You? I got some. Just, Look at this. Uh, you hear that? That's pretty impressive. Yeah, it sounds like um, like a bunch of uh, like meat in a cup. That means when you like die and they exhume your body, it, there's gonna be nothing, nothing there because cartilage doesn't exist beyond time. We get murdered a lot. Your fa because it's so easy. Oh, thank God it's her. She opens the door and shuffles in. She's drunk. No. Oh. Sup. She just says sup. No, yeah. Of course, now that we know she's okay, yeah. now you can be mad. Oh, my God. She's like, oh, whoops. Guess I didn't see those. Ah! Oh, typical teenager. Ah! Amanda Ann. Middle name. When middle name gets called, like, I knew all my friends' middle names growing up. Be because of just them getting in trouble. Oh god. And I came to the conclusion that every girl's middle name is Nicole. Amanda, you come home half after an hour and a half after your curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Find your family. I went to be concerned. Did you ever went to be concerned? Oh, I was scared to make wanna, her feel bad. I wanna make her feel awful. Mm -hmm. I wanna manipulate Who is scared? my daughter. Manipulation. <laughs> Also runs in my family. <laughs> oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, tell us more about your family, Shane. We all have cartilage, just like sharks. We manipulate small children. Freaking top is my middle name, so my actual name is Shane. Freaking top, top. Um, well, I knew all that. Um, how many brothers do you have? One and a half, because the other is half of a tree. He's, so he's half tree, half person. He's the three eyed raven. And uh, where'd you guys, <laughs> where'd you guys grow up, or where did you live before Arizona? Florida and Georgia. Oh, that's so interesting and close. At the same time. Teenagers are the worst, and they should feel bad about all things at all times. It's just a fact. Hmm. Hey, I thought about what you said last. Oh, that's a girl. Sorry. I thought about what you said last that. night. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. I'm really sorry, Pops. I will do it again. We can apologize for like, you know, yeah, let her feel fair. a little independent, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Feel like an adult. What's an egg? <laughs> Hold on. Blah. <laughs> 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 Uh, that one shattered against the wall. <laughs> it cracked immediately. Smell you later. Oh, she, she's not even out of school. So she is senior year. She, wait, we let her stay out even to midnight on a school night? Yeah, what the hell world is this? What's that book? Look at her face. Uh -huh. She's looking at you. She's like, she's so f dumb. If a girl made that face at me at school, I would slap her in the face. That's not okay, Shane. <laughs> Tell us more horrible things you would do and have done. If a girl wore a yellow headband, I would punch her in the face. Oh my God, Shane Top, kids look up to you. If Keep somebody, going. If somebody tries to have cartilage, punch them in the face. Oh, we're setting up her dad book. <gasps> Friday night, we are going to, what do you think? Ooh, uh, which one has most burgers? Uh, it's, so this is greed. Uh, we got gluttony, gluttony, we got sloth, we got wrath, wrath, we got other sloth. Or what are you thinking? What are you thinking, Shane Friggin' Top? I me mean, personally, for me, it's Netflix and Grill Baby, because I grill babies all the time. Oh, there's a comma, my dude. Mm, it's there's something a... in your eye. Look, look down. See? Oh, you blew it away. Oh, wait, it's... no, there it is, see? That is the tiniest fuzz I've ever seen. I got you, best friend. Thank you, Shane. God, here come more fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> what will this one be like? I don't Who am know. I? I don't know. <laughs> if you had to take one thing with you onto a desert island, what would it be? Um. Oh. 
That's a s- get You're lost on a desert island and then you get a movie about being lost on a desert island. That's Cast away. pretty good. Um, I feel like I'm pretty prepared for the zombie a- apocalypse. What do you think? I don't need anything. My skills will train me for this day. I trust. Okay. Uh, what are your turn-ons? Um, a hmm. well-manicured lawn? Is that what you're thinking? No. Comfortable, Comfortable with, with crying. crying. Jinx. We're doing it. What did you want to be when you grew up? We're grown up. That's true. Oh, the president of space. Yeah. It's your favorite movie genre. <laughs> now you get to pick, Shane. Uh, old comedy that haven't aged well. Done. What's your ideal date? Oh, n- Napping together. That is pretty good. Being arson, arson is the usual go-to arson. for me. But arson. Okay, arson. Oh, no. <laughs> we're doing one of those things where we're basically supposed to set up which daddy we date. And I didn't realize until <gasps> this exact moment that we're choosing it's people. Okay, it's fate. What? You know what I always say? Destiny and fate. Dish, 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 dish. A burger. Shane, you're so existential. Everyone dies and burns away. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just it's looking like, at people's profiles. Who should send a message to one of them? I want Hugo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going for Hugo. Hugo. Yes. Hugo. Message. I'm going to go out and message Hugo. <laughs> We didn't read his whole profile, but it's okay. He likes eating books. Okay, let's send a message. Hey, Hugo. Great seeing you at the barbecue. Want to hang out sometime? Whoa, that was very forward. Thank you. I'm just like, I'm why so... Why beat around the bush? Why not Look just be like, I that? think you're great. Let's get coffee. And if they're like, no, you're like, fantastic, moving on. Like, uh, for all of you out there who are nervous about dates and asking someone out, like, it's literally that. You're just scared because you haven't done it before. Right? Right, Shane? Yes. Yes, and if you ever put your feelings out there and they say no, that's okay. You just will never have another chance at love again. Oh, no, Shane, that's terrible advice. We're gonna all burn the way. <laughs> I'm so glad you messaged me. And I definitely want to. Oh, sh- uh, you were doing a voice like this last time. Do you want to maybe do that? I'm so glad you messaged me. That's right. I definitely want to hear you sometime. But I have a favor to ask. Yes, Ash Ketchum? Our class is going on a field trip to the aquarium today, and one of our chaperones is sick. Ah. Is there any possible way we can come by oh, and man, pat he's them? just using us for chaperone duties. Well, we do get to hang out with Hugo all day, and but clearly we we're unemployed. Some kid's gonna pee pee on us. It's middle school. Oh, definitely then. <laughs> Amanda silently <laughs> throws into the kitchen and pours herself a bowl of cereal. Her eyes are a little puffy as though she's been crying. Oh no! Or she's on the gang. The cocaine! <laughs> hey, are you alright? Of course, I'm fine. Oh, she's pregnant. <gasps> Think about the Backstreet Boys. They had a reunion. The Backstreet Boys back, alright? <gasps> but they're different. Something's wrong with them. Like they're a dream of someone who once had who can longer love, remember? Okay, maybe she is stoned. I was making a joke, but like, what? Yeah, when I talk to my boots in my closet, because I have so many cool boots and beach shoes, I talk to them and deflect my problems. God, I wish we had subtitles for life. (laughs) 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 Um, So do we want to go along with her joke like, Were they original? Yeah. yeah, were they the only, only ones? ones? Yeah. yeah, or do we want to ask if that's all they're upset about? She's upset. I think I, I've got to connect with that yeah, daughter. Yeah, but yeah, we don't want to do the middle one because that one's too pushy. The first one. Mm-hmm. If there's, you know, anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm here for you. And I'll always be here for that's you. That's good. Whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go kick someone's butt. I'm only a phone call away. Yeah, we never addressed why she was an hour and a half late and didn't go on texting. Maybe she spent time with this boy she's been interested in and now he's given her the cold shoulder. Thanks, Popsicle. I appreciate that. Here's the here's the one thing that's not addressed in this game, and I don't mean to make anybody uncomfortable. I'm just curious. So originally when I started playing this, I thought it was just like a friendship dating sim because, you know, yes. they're all dads with like biological daughters mm. who they had with like female partners. Yeah. And now they're all like dating one Whoa. another. So it's like, is every father in this cul-de-sac bisexual? Which is a possibility. Or everyone's but... just adopting. Well, she's a biological daughter. Okay. They showed her mom, and we had, like, a relationship with the mom. Whoa! Which I guess is possible, but, like, the odds that it would happen for, like, literally everybody in this whole cul-de-sac is, it's like... It's all a spectrum. It's... I guess so. I mean, last field trip, I got to go on with the clam chowder factory. Gross. <laughs> I love clam chowder. Oh, this should not be a factory. To the clam chowder factory, yeah! Don't you put fear in my heart! <laughs> well, they have penguins there. Yes, they have penguins there. I'll sit 
down at the computer and let Hugo know that I'm available. He tells me to meet him at the aquarium and gives me the address. I grab my keys and kiss a man on the forehead before I head out. Uh, um, that's how kisses work. <laughs> it's, it's oh, yeah, your, what's it's the voice, voice again? What's the voice again? Uh, it's exactly like this. You are so glad I'm you're so here. glad you're here. It's, uh... Hugo! It's been a debacle. It's been a debacle. We're sure that most of the kids will stop screaming, as I'm sure you know in this case. We all need a school. I live through Amanda at 12. I'm all too familiar. Oh, <laughs> We're relating to one another. Hugo walks me over to a gaggle of preteens who are sitting on the... Shane, that was pretty gross. You gotta cover your mouth, my dude. This guy This guy I mean... Does this man always have a hernia? <laughs> it's like... Just has a dumbbell in his hand. I once had a, a bilateral hernia, which sucked. Means that it was like one on each side of the body, like in symmetrical ways. It was riding on the pelvis. So super sucked. Yo, you buddy who's trying to blow horns. Mm hmm. I'm jealous. There's no way they're too busy thinking about not getting food stuck in the braces to pull any stunts. It's middle school after all. <laughs> oh, Fisher here! This looks like it was drawn by a completely oh, different artist yeah. than the rest of the. They were yeah. like, shoot, we forgot the aquarium scene. It just uh, went on paint really fast. Yeah, <laughs> what's in the packets? Us, I'm a big work there. Most we read, did you question it? But 10 minutes to think of it, baby. Teacher hacks, I like that. But I thought we were an English teacher. What does the aquarium have to do with books? The old man in the sea. We just did Oh, it. baby, called it. Called Whoa, it. Whoa, you called did. It. What can I say? I've read a book. Damien is oh. a secret psychic. Have you? The old man in the sea. Not a quiet like a... <coughs> you okay? You okay, Shane? It will do the kids to the futile perseverance of the human spirit by making them patch their rice over. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty bold. Do you want to be bold? Kind of. I'd rather stare at you. Well, what? Oh, snips. <gasps> no! Oh, we put it on too thick. I mean, I'd rather not stare at you at all. Great save, Burphy. Oh, we're striking out. Oh, no. This is not easy. We screwed it, the pooch. I messed up. Oh, we sure did. That was my fault. No, it was mine. Shane, I don't know how to flirt. One day, maybe I'll be a yeah, Casanova like yourself. Maybe one day, but for now, it's, it's up to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Our hands brush, and he smiles. Hey. It's just hey, it's it's a a bitch. Yeah. It's Sorry, I just get a little carried away. Summit. Summit. Wait. The girl over there looks a space. She's got a fish gun! <laughs> Backpack's usually that wet. Hold on! <gasps> They're stealing a fish! Oh, snip. I'm deferring to you. I've made terrible decisions. We don't have time for games, you, because I'm getting freaking up! He loves us! We got the hearts! Yes! Goes back in the tank now. You know what, teacher? You can't tell me what to tell you. Yes, well, I, I am. am. You can put, you please put the bag down. You will to teach him my katana. Oh! Shink, and then we split that child in twain. And hopefully they have cartilage. They don't, they haven't got any. Horseshoe Whoa. crab! What a poop butt! Jesus Susan, see the middle name is bad. <laughs> Jesus Susan, what was your plan? That was good. I trying to frame. So where, outside, where he's gonna die? Susan, go back to your group. You're dumb as hell. We're gonna have to talk about this later. Yeah. Aww. Oh, that's Gross. so cute. Another conflict between Shane and myself. What shall we do? There's to things <gasps> up. <gasps> Grabs my arm. What a gentle. <laughs> I think we're having a don't, but that tickles. <laughs> oh my, oh my God, God. There's a student in the pond. Are you in. serious? Molly Henderson, Susan friends. What's with the girls in this class? Why can't you be well behaved like the boys? What's wrong with these like boys? Like us boys, mm. like you and me, boy. <laughs> Tickle so much. I run into the enclosure and greeted by a cold blast of air. I drown her in the water. I wait until the last bubble stops. I thought stops. that's what it said. No, 
I hold her head under the water until the last bubble stops and she stops twitching. <laughs> kid, what are you even doing? I'm letting the penguins go. They do their freedom. Stupid wow, kids kid. in this class are stupid. Yeah, go let them back. go back to their jobs at Subway. Oh, oh block that bird. We're playing a game? Oh! <laughs> we have to block the bird. Oh no, they're getting close. Shoot them. I'm waiting. Don't shoot until you can see the whites There's of their eyes. There's too many! His eyes closed! Ah! Gotta get him! Get him! I don't Dude, know. It's, it's just a hand wow, with so fire coming out the back. Do the, you see that? Yeah, and that's how I block things. But the first one we see gets knocked away with a one hit, so it makes me wait until the rest come. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna wait till I have you a shot. You waited too long. That's your fault. This is why I'm better with women. Jesus, man. <laughs> you know I haven't been dating much lately. Man, <sighs> bribe that teen. You're giving the money to the penguins. Bribe that teen. Oh, that penguin got muns. How did one penguin escape? I didn't even see it get out. Did you? <laughs> Bribery works. Yeah! Uh, we just kicked butt, you guys. Hugo is in love with us. Burfee St. Germain is doing the good business. Doing the good boy. Meeting that gent. Hmm. Dating in a smarter way than I ever could. But thankfully, Ooh. that's a kiss sound right there. But thankfully, Ooh. we got my boy Shane Top, who knows what's up and is gonna teach me the rest of dating about life. Yep, here he is, he's Shane Freakin' Top. Shane Freakin' Top. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes? You got a haircut. I do believe you noticed. Thank you for watching the Davey Say So. It's last week is Bendy. And click it on the left and then the right video is for you, special for you. I'm Courtney Freaking Top. <laughs>